Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video we're going to show you 5 ways that you can use green tea in helping with your skin, in nourishing your skin and in promoting your skin as well. Now green tea is one of these lovely nourishing herbal teas that is suitable for all sorts of skin types. So it's not really associated with um, dry skin or oily skin, it's suitable to be used for all sorts of skin types and in this video we're going to show you how to or we're going to talk about making simple DIY recipes for skincare using the wonderful power and antioxidant benefit of green tea. So I'm going to start off by talking about how to do a DIY green tea uh, cleanser that's suitable for many different skin types as well as a toner which is great for helping to provide the antioxidants for your skin as well as a lovely green tea mask which is amazing for anyone who has skin that's prone to uh, acne or prone to specific skin conditions and also so a lovely recipe that really helps with providing the nourishment to your eye area because as you know this is a sensitive area and it really needs to um, be well taken care of in terms of helping with the, the uh, under uh, dark eye under circles and um, helping with just maintaining the general uh, health of the skin around the eyes and also we're going to talk about incorporating green tea as a great blend for a facial steam facial for the hair and this is usually great for anyone suffering from oily skin because usually there's a um uh, excess uh, you know production of oils and the steam really helps to uh, you know best remove these oils and helps as well to provide that benefit to oily skin but you can still use the steam you just got to be careful if you suffer from dry sensitive skin i don't recommend it but it would be great for a combination uh, skin type or oily skin as well so let's get started with our cleanser for the day so in order to do this it's suitable for all skin types you start off with adding two tablespoons of green tea infusion so you make the infusion beforehand um, and then uh, two tablespoons of green tea infusion and then you add to that one tablespoon of raw honey and then you just massage it all over the face leave it for 15 minutes and rinse another great recipe to be used as a toner using green tea is simply all you would need to get started is a green tea infusion and in order to make that it's usually one teaspoon of green green tea um, as well as one cup of water uh, hot water and then you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to let it cool and then you strain out the green tea uh, loose leaf and you simply um, put it in a clean spray bottle mist all of your face if you have any rose water lying around I'd splash a little rose water um, in addition to that in the spray bottle and then the rest can be stored in the fridge in that uh, spray bottle now the great recipe to make a mask from green tea and this is specifically for anyone suffering from skin that's prone to acne prone to eczema it's great to use that because all you would need is um, 30 milliliters of infused uh, tea leaves um, so that way sorry I'm just gonna repeat that because there was a mistake you would need in order to get started one tablespoon of the tea leaves one tablespoon of the green tea leaves as well as two tablespoons of honey and it's best if you um, basically grind the uh, green tea leaves and then portion it out to be one tablespoon of the green tea leaves that are already grinded add to that two tablespoons of honey and simply apply it as a mask for 20 minutes and that way you would get a lovely consistency because the green tea leaves have already been grinded into more of a um you know a consistency of a powder form now in order to use green tea for the eye area i would start off by using um two green tea i would start off by using two green tea bags and then i would um place them in the freezer for about five minutes now before i place them in the freezer i make sure that i infuse them so i've already made for example a large uh, you know cup of green tea i've infused two green tea bags in there i'm gonna drink the tea but then after just before that I'm going to take out the green tea bags from the water that's been um, uh, sitting in and I'm going to place them straight in the freezer maybe for about five to ten minutes and then take them out of the freezer and then apply them on the eyelids for about 10 to 15 minutes great wonderful soothing benefits and the coldness also will really help to um, you know remove any of that swelling sometimes there occurs swelling around the eye area um, on the uh, dark 
uh, under eye circles as well it will really help with that now you will not see results from the first use consistency is key so if you are a wonderful um you know believer in the in the benefits of green tea then it would be wise to note one or two recipes that we listed in this video and then use them consistently maybe like a once or twice per week because consistency is key when it comes to really helping with um, providing the anti-aging benefits for your skin now our last less recipe is simply using green tea as a uh, steam uh, facial preferably for people who have combination skin and people who have um, oily skin as well now you start off with boiling water and please keep it away from children make sure you uh, do this as responsibly as possible because there are some risks involved in doing a steam facial so you start off with boiling water and then add to that whole leaf green tea and also you would need a towel to cover your head and you would start off by steaming your face you know for a couple of minutes maybe two to three minutes and then just removing your face away from the steam you you make sure that you cover your eyes or not cover your eyes close your eyes during the steaming process as well and um, just allow the steam to uh, you know um, reach your face and this will really help because in that steam uh, there is benefits of the green tea now not as strong as it is when you apply a green tea mask or like a toner but still there are some antibacterial